Well, hey there. Welcome to the Paul Paul Chronicles and more with Jim. I'm going to get some of this stuff off here. And for now, we'll set it right here just to get it out of the way. Well, here it is, the middle of March. And we're quickly coming up on growing season once again. And right now, I'm working on getting things together. And feeling kind of warm in here, comparatively speaking. Well, we're pushing probably about 68 degrees. Well, what I'm doing is this year, I'm going to try something new. These black barrels right here are full of water. The sun beating down inside here warms this water up, which these barrels are pretty warm. And I think it's a perfect scenario for starting seed. We want that warmth for the seed. And for now, I'm going to unplug the stock heaters and see what I can work with right here. How's it going to fit? That'll work out great. Now if I wanted to, what I can do is for now the world but I didn't want to plug in there the stock heaters back in for now. Worked out good. What I can do is, is that this right here is going to be the purpose behind it is to start trays of seeds in here. In which this will hold an awful lot of seeds. We're looking at 16 foot stretch by two foot and the trays that I have are one foot by two foot. Some of them are 18 celled trays and some of them are 32 celled trays. So we're we're looking at an awful lot of seeds but I won't be germinating that many seeds. But anyways it's something that I wanted to share with you. You know with pawpaws you plant them outside They'll germinate on their own outside naturally. What one ends up happening is you're looking at, oh, sometimes between the middle of July to the end of July before the seedling even breaks the ground. A lot of that's got to do with warmth and also your growing zone. Here, I'm in zone 5B. And that's normally when they'll come up naturally if you plant them directly outside. But a lot of that has to do with warmth. How warm does the soil get? And these tubs right here, you know, as the sun is beaming down into this uh, greenhouse, it'll warm these black tubs up and ambient heat will generate upwards into the flats and help warm those seeds up and hopefully this will be something that will help the seeds germinate a lot quicker and that's what I'm after and I wanted to share that with you. It's, I think this is going to be a, a, a good tip to share with you and that's the reason why I decided to share it with you. I use metal angle which is aluminum and I took two four foot pieces put them together to where I have a solid eight foot piece 
just like what I got over here, but these right here are just benches. And this right here is going to be my seed bed, off ground seed bed with the usage of heat coming off of these barrels. It's, it's been a, a, a long journey for me and I've shared an awful lot with you. There's other things that I'll be doing this year that I'll share as I go like I normally do. We'll learn as I go, share as I learn. And that's what we're after. We want to share what it is we are doing with one another uh, as far as germinating and propagating the pawpaw along with other trees. But anyways, I got some things I need to get picked up outside. I got pins to get off of uh, some trees that I protected from deer this year and get things ready for the growing season. Well, my name's Jim. If you like what you see, subscribe. Don't forget to click on that bell for any notifications. Any comments or questions that you may have, I welcome. Y'all have a God-blessed day.